Hello everyone, I'm Yujin from Microsoft Research. The information of air quality is of great importance to protecting people's hair from the damage of air pollution. In reality, however, there are only a limited number of air quality monitoring stations that have been built by government in the city. Unfortunately, air quality was roused by location significantly in, and is highly skewed in the city because it is influenced by multiple factors such as meteorology, land use, and traffic flow. As shown in this figure, the air quality of different locations could be very different. Even some locations are very close to each other. As a result, we don't really know the air quality of the location without the monitoring station. To address this issue, we infer fine grain and real-time air quality using two parts of data. So one is a real-time and historical air quality data from existing monitoring station. The other is the diversity of data we observed in the city, like traffic flow, meteorology, structure of network, and point of interest data. Different from traditional physical model, we approach this problem from the perspective of data science, using data mining and machine learning algorithm to build a network between air quality index and the diversity of big data. So having this fine green information of air quality, you can monitor multiple locations in your city, such as a current location, your home, your kids' school, by just clicking on the map. Once the location, well, the air quality of this location exceeds a certain threshold, you will be alerted by a mobile phone, and then you can call your mother to shut down the window or tell your kids to avoid playing outside. We can also suggest the best route in terms of air quality to people who want to go jogging and go cycling. And the fine grain information of air quality can be used to identify the location where we could need to build additional station in a city if current stations are not enough. And the research is also stepped towards identifying the root cause of air, of air pollution. So why it is polluted? therefore supporting government's decision-making. What I present here is only a part of our research on urban computing, which aims to tackle the big challenge in big city using big data. Other examples include funding smart, smart driving direction using GPS trajectory of a large number of taxi cabs, or we can glean the problematic design in a city's transportation network using human mobility data. For more information, search for urban computing on the internet. I'm Yujin from Microsoft Research. Thank you.